A controversial law school administrator has resigned after coming under fire for tweets many students called racist and misogynistic. Ilya Shapiro worked at Georgetown Law School, but he was suspended on paid leave for nearly the entire time. News 4's Amy Cho has more. A months-long controversy ending with a law school administrator quitting just days after he started. It all began back in January. Ilya Shapiro was about to start work at Georgetown Law School, but a few days before. He tweeted complaints about President Biden pledging to nominate a black woman to the Supreme Court. Shapiro suggested his own pick for nominee and said that person, quote, doesn't fit into latest intersectionality hierarchy, so we'll get lesser black woman. Thank heaven for small favors. In response, 21 students student groups at Georgetown Law signed a petition for Shapiro to be fired, calling his comments offensive, racist, sexist, and misogynistic. Shapiro was placed on paid leave for four months while the school conducted an investigation. Last week, they announced he'd been cleared because he wasn't technically an employee yet when he made those tweets. Georgetown Law said Shapiro would have to take anti-discrimination training and meet with any students who wish to express concern. But this morning, Shapiro quit, sending a letter to the dean saying, you have created an unacceptably hostile work environment for me on account of my political views and affiliations, and you've painted a target on my back such that I could never do the job I was hired for. Georgetown Law put out a statement in response saying, Georgetown urges members of our community to engage in robust and respectful dialogue. Our speech and expression policy does not prohibit speech based on the person presenting ideas or the content of those ideas, even when those ideas may be difficult, controversial, or objectionable. As of now, no word on who will take over Shapiro's job now that it's empty. Amy Cho, News 4. Shapiro previously ran for the Falls Church School Board in 2021.